Okay, so this graph shows voting rates within the states. You see the purple? The purple states means that the voting <laughs> rates was because of gender expectations that many people couldn't live up to. That, that purple also means that they were only to the point of near suicide or suicide. Why this is important. Negative, negative expectations for being a man, for young men, leads to bullying by others who feel the victim as too feminine. Uh, when I say feminine, I mean they don't play sports or any physical activity like most young men. Uh, however, I'm not really saying being a female is bad. In fact, I probably like female. <laughs> <laughs> Next slide. Next slide. <laughs> Uh, so, in my research, I found an article called Being a Man, a Social Concept. It was basically about uh, how women were being a, more, a larger part of the workforce and how men had trouble doing that. So, I looked into this and I found out, like I said, as the years go on, more and more women were becoming a, more, a larger influence of the workforce. And I asked, a lot of people, this is, I asked a lot of people why they think this is, and they say because as the older, the older generation was raised to believe that men were the, the dominant money makers of the last household. Next slide. Six, four, and five. You know, Jade could come to me. It didn't matter. Come to me crying. You know, it didn't matter what she was crying about. She can get on my knees. She can snap my sleeve up. Just cry, cry it out. Daddy got you. That's all that's important. Now, Kendall, on the other hand, like I said, he's only 15 months older than her. He come to me crying. It's like as soon as I would hear him crying, a clock would go off. You know, I would give the boy probably about 30 seconds. Which means, by the time he got to me, I was already saying things like, why are you crying? Hold your head up. Look at me. Explain to me what's wrong. Tell me what's wrong. I can't understand you why you're crying. And out of my own frustration of my role and responsibility of building him up as a man to, to fit into these guidelines and these structures that are defined in this man box, I would find myself saying things like, just go in your room. Just go on, go on in your room, sit down, get yourself together, and come back and talk to me when you can talk to me like a what? Like a man. Okay. And he's five years old. So this is Tony Ford. He, this video was a TED talk that I'm pretty sure most of y'all have seen. He, in this TED talk, he's talked about how men how men are treated differently because of society. So, in the video, as you, in the clip y'all just watched, he talks about the difference between the way he treats his daughter and the way he treats his son. The way he treats his daughter is like he's all nurturing and cuddling when she's crying. The way he treats his son is very harsh and judgmental as to why he's crying when he's only 15 months older than he like he said. Uh, later in the video, he's talks about an event when his, old, his older brother died. It was an event, he was living in New York at the time, and on his way home, his limo with all his family stopped, stopped, made pit stops. Uh, as all the women in the car left, it was just him and his dad. Now, he, he sort of says that even though his dad didn't want to cry in front of him, he knew he wasn't going to make it back to New York. So his dad cried in front of him. And as his dad was crying in front of him, he was, he was also praising Tony that, because he wasn't crying. And that just pointed, that, that really struck out to me because he, the dad just buried his, son, his teenage son just like a few minutes ago, but he was too afraid to cry in front of the woman.
So, unfortunately, the dude I interviewed, he didn't want, he wanted to be anonymous, but, so, his name, so Mr. Smith uh, was an is an educator who attended the University of Wisconsin. Uh, he believes that gender expectations, uh, gender expectations are, are caused by a form of patriarchal society, which means that men were the predominant role and women were like unfortunately lesser to them than men. So my solution, uh, I really had a hard time with this one because like we're, really what can you do? You can't really change the whole world. So I just say like in order to try to end this, you gotta be just confident with yourself. You gotta be like who you are. Like, like you see this, I am who I am. You know, I can't help who I am. So like, you're just who you are, and you won't listen to what society says, and you won't believe what they say.